Right, so I'm gonna do a night shift in tonight. Um, it's been a long time since I've done a night shift there. It's that it's not always available. So yeah, that's the nearest community hospital. 30 minutes travel like that. 30 to 40 minutes travel, it depends on what day, on what time. Bus stop. So, uh, I'm always rushing, like, catching up the bus. Yeah. Bus is late. Two minutes. Two minutes delayed. Yeah, you can see it there. It's supposed to be 6.45 p.m. Ano oras na? 6.47 na. <laughs> <laughs> oh late yung bus late hindi ako late eh um, so yeah yun yung mahirap kapag ka sa malayo na duty kailangan nabulin yung bus so I've got a return ticket that I can use within 24 hours so since I'm going home tomorrow morning I will use the same ticket so if you've got a return ticket you can use that for 24 hours but not every bus company offers the same service okay i think so <laughs> i just love sitting on upper deck because i would be able to see the beautiful countryside of cornwall lakad pa taas hindi pa taas hiningan na ako pa pagod just good day <laughs> That's the main entrance. My shift starts at half 7, 7.30 p.m. And 7.24 pa lang. Around 6 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So we are required to wear masks again in the hospital because of increasing COVID cases. Oh, where's the mask? See, alas walang tao. So, I'm working in stroke rehab. Alright, bye. See you guys later. Right, so I'm gonna get changed. I'm using scrub suits because I've run out of uniform. Yeah. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get a uniform. I'm not gonna get a uniform because I'm not too big. I'm not too big. I'm not gonna get a I'm not gonna get a uniform. Life in the UK. Um, safety briefs done. Hanover is done from day shift to night shift staff. I've seen my patients, they're all okay. So what I have here are like a card used to get into the rooms here, like treatment rooms. So yeah, they've got special card. They've got a really nice big room here for the healthcare staff. Um, doctors, nurses, therapists, and to everyone, yeah. So, yeah, it's really nice, you know. Reception from there to end. My side. I've got 10 patients here, and I've got two health cares. <laughs> <laughs> so, what to do? I don't know. So I've got no IV meds. I've got only one OBS to do tonight. And yes, that's it really. A blood sugar later. In this world, I'm so amazed that every bay or room, there's a telly or television. Nice. Right, so this is their drugs trolley. This tray is a little bit messy, so I'm gonna clean it up. This is the tablet crusher. And on the side, there's a little cabinet where they keep their drugs. And at the back, this is where they keep the nutritional drinks or supplements like, and sure, patients doesn't like it sometimes. 
And so that's all done. Clean and organized trolley. So this one is the taken easy tickler. So sometimes we take in the fluids of the patients who have swallowing impairment, especially to those who had stroke because they are at risk of aspiration or choking. Oops, oops, that's wrong. Where's the light in it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Pulled the wrong cord. <laughs> So in hospital's toilet, there's a toilet alarm pull cord where patients can pull that cord if they need help. And I accidentally pulled that cord. <laughs> right, so I've done my meds. I've cleaned my drug trolley. And all patients are settled in bed, sleeping. Yeah, so I'm finished. Let's eat. <laughs> Before, I used to like ask people if they need anything like that well i'm still doing that but i've minimized asking that because sometimes i end up doing everything for them pagka tapos na ako sa responsibilidad ko minsan nagchichill na lang ako tumutulong pa rin naman ako pero ayun nga yung medyo konti na lang hindi <laughs> na yung sobra tulad dati na ano Taken over at 1930 alert. Meds given as per EPMA. Friend want to transfer. Continent. Minimal supervision. Settled in bed. Asleep. That looks okay. <laughs> so, in this community hospital, I'm so amazed that there's a screen or monitor wherein you can see who rings the bell. It's just so helpful. So, I'm here in the treatment room. Um, so yeah, the covers here are color-coded for the keys. That's it! Uh, tapos na naman na isang gabi ng duty. Pauwi na ako. Punta na ako ng bus stop. 8.14 a.m. yung bus. I need to wait 30 minutes. So I'm here now at bus stop. Yeah. Um. So I've got a return ticket, five pounds. Travel is around thirty minutes. If I will take a taxi, it will cost me twenty-seven to thirty pounds. So yun mahal, mahal siya mag bus na lang ako di ba? Kasi mung pa thirty pounds. <laughs> And the travel is 15 minutes drive if taxi. It's okay. 15 minutes lang na may difference. And that one there is where you can see the schedules of the bus. Actually, kanina, gusto kong makisabay sa agency nurse. Kung baga, makikihati na lang ako sa bayad sa taxi para makauwi din ako ng maaga. Pero kasi, meron na akong return ticket. 5 pounds yun. Tapos, yung bayad sa taxi mga nasa 20 pounds. So, take 15 kami. So, 15 plus 5, 20 pounds. 20 pounds na yung gastos ko sa duty. Para sa shift na yun. Huwag na, mag na lang ako. <laughs> People get on and get off the bus, they always say, or maybe not always, it depends. They say, thank you to the driver, which is a fine, so cool here in Cornwall. Right, I'm home. <laughs> and then I've got three days off. Uh, um, so, I'll just take a nap because I'm gonna go to church later, half 10. And what time is it now? 8.52. Hiya. 
So I'm gonna go to church now. I'm running late. Gosh, I'm always late. I just woke up. <laughs> I'm gonna cycle. So yes, let's go. <laughs> so it's my first time to do a long day in a community. 12 hour shift. So my shift starts at half seven. I wake up five minutes after six. Went out half six. Wala na ligo yun. May ligo naman ako pag gabi. Pag gabi, ligo. Para hindi na ako nagsin ang aga. I'm so hungry. The break starts at 10 o'clock. Shit. The community hospitals here in Cornwall uses this free application to document and update the patient's progress. So they don't write any more in medical notes. Um, they update the patient's progress in the computer. So it's all in the computer now. Actually, mas take itong community hospital kasi yun nga, gumagami na sila ng computer to document patient's progress. Unlike in other trusts, in my trust, we are still using medical notes. Medical notes, paper. So we still write on the paper. I don't know. Um, I, At some point, I prefer the paper so it's easy to access the patient's information. Unlike sa Rio kasi, syempre, mga pa ng computer. Tapos, paano kung kunti lang yung computer na available? So, hindi ka makapag-log in to see the patient's information. So, at some point, may disadvantage din siya. Ayun lang. <laughs> In this one, pop is where you can order the medications for your patients. And so, me, I ordered loperamide because I've got a patient who's got continuous loose bowels or diarrhea or pagtatae. So, yun, loperamide ang solution. So before I can order the medication for the patient, the doctor needs to prescribe the medication first so that it will appear on pop. So all of the medications that the patients are having, it will appear on pop. So I just had my break, second break, 12 o'clock. So I've got 30 minutes. Six minutes na lang, bilis ng oras, grabe. So, I will go back at half 12 and then I will start the meds for 1 o'clock p.m. And then, yeah, I've done my notes already actually this morning. <laughs> the patient's cabinets are accessed by a special key, but sometimes they don't work and you are stuck because you can't give the medication to the patient. <laughs> So my shift is over. As you can see, I've got a lot of Tupperwares, empty Tupperwares. I love to eat. <laughs> Whatever. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching my vlog. I'm so thankful that even though that I uploaded the last video four weeks ago, people are still subscribing my channel. I'm so grateful. So continue doing that. <laughs> so yeah. See you in the next video. So you can see that I've got... See you. Oh gosh!